Welcome back. So today's video, <laughs> we are covering, <laughs> you're going to see how, how crazy I actually am. I think this is going to be really revealing of the shopping problem that I have. Now, this closet here, it is filled to the brim and it's my fault. I've allowed myself to get out of hand and we're going to go I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to put it out in the bed and on the floor and I'm going to go through everything carefully and whatever I'm not wearing and loving um, will be going to someone else um, either by purchase, do donation, going to Beacon's Closet. Um, yeah, I can't have this stuff in here. It, it's to the point where the clutter of the closet is overwhelming and some days I just don't care like I'll just wear whatever I wore the day before like it's getting out of hand and I think also year 2020 you know being in the house for some reason people were shopping so much including myself by trying to fill some type of void during 2020 where you know we couldn't go out we couldn't do the things we couldn't enjoy certain things so just buying and holding it until outside reopened was I guess the the brains behind the purchasing i don't know comment below and tell me if you did the same thing and do you understand your reason why so let me just show you so here's the the closet so i even have things spilling out into the room um i have no space for all the shoes at this point it's been high because yeah i have drawers filled to the max i don't even know what's in the drawers I, I have things on hangers that I can't, I don't even know what's in here, you know? <clears throat> so how do you know when you're getting dressed, like what you're looking for exactly? You can't see anything. This is absurd. And I actually want to, um, I want to turn this dresser this way because this little area, well, maybe, maybe we'll keep it this way. I don't know, but it's, it's giving claustrophobic. So everything's about to get removed um and it's a lot it's a lot going on jesus okay i feel like i might cry i feel like i'm gonna cry during this purging session but i have to get to it so taking everything out now okay so i've pulled everything out of the closet and the drawers, except for my, my, whatchamacallit, my underwear drawer. And after I sift through all this stuff, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to attack the shoe situation and get that cleared up. But everything is out as far as clothes are concerned. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm really overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that just came out of here, like, for one person. This is too much. This is too much. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through the gym apparel pile and take out whatever I know I don't use or need or like anymore or doesn't fit. Um, and now I'll start my let's get out of here pile. We're gonna start with this. So this is the process that I was going through mentally. Do I love this item? Does it still fit? Do I even love the color on me? If no, then it went far out the door. Anything else that I hesitated with in the slightest, I also threw out the door and made up in my mind that at the end of everything, I would revisit, try on again, and reconfirm my decisions. Okay, so one pile has gone and these are the nose those are getting out of there and these are going right back into the gym drawer so not too bad took me about six minutes a bunch more to go okay so i got through a good amount of things that was on the floor here but it's still like mayhem and i was able to create more of a pile of getting out of here. So I started putting things back on the shelf and I even moved 
the dresser so I have a little bit more space right in the front here so right now I'm gonna go through the coats but this is what the shelving is looking like it's so a couple of jeans that I found that I need to try on to figure out if I if you know if they're a good fit and if I love them but so far so good I think I've only an hour in at this point so I got overheated at one point I had to put my t-shirt on because that sweater was not helping me and I nicked my finger and I started bleeding a little bit so this is this is a this is a thing this is like a sport I'm, I'm happy that this pile is growing things are getting out of here and I'm actually not taking too long making decisions like if I'm thinking too hard then that tells me no and I'm just like tossing it to the side and what I'll do with this pile once I'm once I'm done, I'm going to go through the pile again, figure out what will be donated and what I will actually sell. <sighs> okay, so I know the lighting looks crazy. Hold on, sorry. Where's Carlos back there? What you doing? What you doing back there, Carlos? Cleaning up. He's been cleaning up all day. Let me show you. <laughs> he smacked me on my butt. <laughs> um, yeah. So, all right. So, making great timing. It's three hours in, and things are looking up. I'm about to finish up with this last. It looks. It still looked like a lot, but everything. I'll show you. Has been removed from the floor, and. I actually, I need to get a new dresser, but don't mind that it's lopsided. Ooh, I'm breaking it even more. Anyway, so there are things that I really was like, they're so beautiful. <sighs> Go ahead and pass. Go ahead. I gotta make another trip. I bet you do. Hurry up. Because we're going to get into this drawer. So basically just pieces that are like so beautiful that I still haven't worn or have tags on that I don't want to part with and they're just going to go in there for safekeeping and anytime I feel like I need an outfit that needs to like bang or like something new zesty I'm going to go go into that drawer that is the purpose of it so if months go by and I still don't go into that drawer then we can reassess it but I didn't have a breakdown I did not have a mental breakdown I am so proud of myself okay Babe, I feel like I'm gonna have a really tough time with the shoe situation, knowing what to let go. I don't mind my business on that one. Wow. That's how you feel? I'm my own business. Why? I don't want to get involved with that. Why? I might need help. I don't want to get involved with people and their emotional attachments to things. And their what? Emotional attachments. I have an emotional attachment to my shoes. <laughs> Bringing this stuff down. Whoa, <laughs> got a little dizzy. <sighs> okay. The top is done. The shoot most of the shoes are out from underneath there, and it is a situation out here. Okay, so I'm leaving space here so I could try on some things in front of the mirror, but um, um, I don't like to take shoes out of boxes. Um, but I have a, a lot that don't have boxes and it's like a, it's just, this is a lot, man. I see why people get paid for organizing closets. And I signed up for this shit. Ah! Also, I have my dryer balls from Sakura Rose. Like you put her scent on them. You put them in a the dryer, but like I also like to spray them and leave them in different spots in the closet. Child, but boo, this is, ugh. I'm going to keep all my shoes. So it's time to get real with myself. We're going to have to get rid of some of these. <laughs> okay, so for example, emotional attachment, right? 
these no no these are better wait 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 oh gosh so these ysls get into this these ysl moments were my first pair of designer shoes purchased from barney's in 2007 i haven't worn them in so long i got them actually whoop, my bad. Oh, i'm sorry i got them resold and from time to time like this little area will open up but i they're they're actually really snug too i have i'm not ready to part with them because of the fact that they're literally my first pair of designer shoes <sighs> pray for me okay so far i'm making progress and this is like the developing list of what's leaving which is a big deal um but still have to sift through these and these are more like summer shoes but that's what's being kept so far i found these gems these are my first pair of alaya heels also don't know if i'm going to keep them actually might be time i have a few alayas that i'm just like Hmm, do you really want to stay? What's in this one? Oh, these I got myself for my 30th birthday. Look at the color. But, oh, there goes that oh, beautiful midnight navy. Yeah, this is staying in the collection for sure. She's a beauty. Listen, the girls that get it, and understand, I've been had these. Let me tell you, I've been an it girl. Y'all just didn't know. Y'all just didn't know about me. The light was on other people, and that's okay. But I've been that girl. This was an it shoe. When this came out, people didn't really know about Alaya. And truth be told, <laughs> I worked with a buyer at Saks Fifth Avenue, which was one of the first buyers in New York to deal with um, Azadina Laya. And yeah, that was a cool opportunity just to see how they did business and how they bought for the New York store. Yeah, Alaya, the girls who, who the girls, the real girls with the real coin, they wear Alaya from head to toe. So, I don't know if I can give these up. I just have not worn them in literal years. Also, would they fall apart if I put them on and walk these streets? I might even put it in a um in some resin. Some of these things deserve to actually be put in resin. That's where I'm at mentally. It is seven hours later <laughs> and i'm just about to complete my task it has been one hell of a day um i cleared up a lot of shoes down here as well and for these i want to leave them here to push myself to wear them within the next two weeks. I know these I'm most likely keeping because I'm going to Houston in a couple of months and I definitely want to wear that. Yes, I, I'm that petty. Like I want to keep those and I want to wear these um, Ivy Park chaps when I'm in Houston too. So I have to put those aside, but I'm basically getting so much stuff out. These pieces will go up for sale. Um, this entire carriage i just let's do a close-up of that there are shoes underneath there too there's a duffel these are workout clothes i no longer want to be associated with oh my god they're too big or they're cheap or just like ugh. i'm gonna give these up for donation there's a lot of new clean socks between me and carlos um i don't know why why we have so many random socks you know and the good thing is i went through my 
get the hell up out of my house pile again as I was folding them into the carriage just to like kind of double check and make sure I want to let these go um and I'm feeling good like it feels so much lighter and I mean it still seems like maximal is that a word I don't know it just seems like over the top as far as like the amount of units but I no longer feel too overwhelmed when I'm looking into my closet and like, okay, what am I going to wear for the day? I feel like from here, I can still be super creative. Um, you know, my style is eclectic, androgynous. Um, and I feel like I can see that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is reorganize the drawers. Like, and... I'll post on my Insta this week to see if the girls want me to do a closet sale or if I'm just to give it to Beacon, see what I could do there or just donate. Because if I do a closet sale on live, IG live, it, it'll go over an hour and like who has the time? Who has the time? And like, I'll see what the girls say though. Because the girls might amp me up and make me do it. Like, I might do it. But we'll see. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't want to shop. I don't want to see not nan stitch of clothing for a very long time. It is 9.57 at night. All-Star weekend. And I just finished. I just finished organizing this. Can't barely see because it's mostly black, but that's all my gym stuff. Like, and then I organize the panty drawer with the socks and the onesies. But I literally did everything I was supposed to do. And now I'm sick of everything. I, I'm i sick of myself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this mug. This is what I've been working with the whole day. I'll recap and do a checklist and everything for y'all. I just... And euphoria is on tonight. I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to enjoy it thoroughly. Oh, come on. Turn off. So... It's two weeks since I've purged my entire closet. I'm gonna show you how it's been going. The way that I went about it this time was definitely helpful. But I do feel like what I've trimmed down are the core essential items that I feel that my style needs and has. Um, and, and they all have a special place. I feel like I can style one item so many different other ways and I really thought about even just the shoes that, you know, I love and respect, but I don't wear. And I don't think that's fair. And I think there's other people that might be looking for some really special pieces. And they don't need to be with me. So, it's been interesting. You know, I feel like I did it because I've been feeling that the environment that I'm in with all this stuff is is weighing down on me and I feel like I just didn't need all this stuff. There was no point in doing in, in having all this stuff. And as I'm cleansing and I'm making immediate decisions about what I don't want, what I do like and what I will use and just being really honest with myself, there is definitely like a spiritual cleansing feel about it. You have to take a day. <laughs> you have to take a day to do this. And you have to really think to yourself like, okay, I'm tired of it. I need all this uh, out. I want clarity. I want space. You have to ask yourself questions. Do I really use this? Do I love it? Does it fit me? If there's any hesitance, put it to the side immediately and revisit once you're finished like the entire haul. And think about what your style is too. Like what are the pieces that are so important to you? What are your essentials? What are your non-negotiables? and um, curate your wardrobe in that way. And if that means everything must go and you need to start over, and you know, if you don't have the budget, do that slowly. But if you do have the budget, then do that. You know, sometimes when we rid ourselves of material things that we just feel so heavy and weighed down, to, down on, there's no use of keeping it. 
so there's definitely you know early spring cleaning for me i know i'm definitely early on this note but um it's like i have way more room to think i feel like i've been so much more creative so much open and receiving other creativity um just because when i go into my closet every day to pick out the style that matches my mood for that day or what the statement through my outfit says it's just been a walk in the park like literally and and i've even put these um these hooks here I'll put these hooks here and I'll put an outfit together on this door as I'm getting ready for the day. And it's just been so easy. Like, let me see if I could place this here. Um, literally, I would just, this has been my day-to-day, -day, like, flow lately. Like, I know I want to wear a pair of structured pants. Okay, boom, got a pair of structured pants. Put it here. What do I see myself wearing with this? I want something kind of funkadelic and loose fitting i don't really want to do anything too serious okay boom and then i pull a shoe from wherever but like it's hanging here i'll even go and i'll put my underwear on the hook and just go and take a shower and then come back and get dressed and that's that's the fit so i do suggest that you get into your early spring cleaning and you get really serious about what are the things that you actually use and wear and show appreciation for and the things that you don't have appreciation for or don't need give it up sell it if you feel like it can sell or donate it to someone in need we've been a lot easier that's what i care about really i just like the freeness of it all check in next week new episode coming on sunday and thank you for tuning in drop a like or dislike that's up to you you know i'm open around here I I don't take offense i don't take offense drop a comment share with your friends subscribe all the good things let's build the community and i'll see you next week darling